So hi guys, welcome ulit sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon sasagutan natin itong problem related sa projectile motion na topic. So from problem, a projectile is fired with an initial velocity of VA equals 150 meter per second of the roof of the building. Determine the range where it strikes the ground at B. So yung projectile daw natin is coming from point A. So ito. So magre-release siya ng bola until it reaches point B which is dito. So yung hinahanap sa problem, kailangan daw natin mahanap yung range or yung R. Okay? So ito. So paano natin to isi-solve? So first, kailangan mo natin isulat yung given. So let's consider first the vertical. So yung initial position ng ating projectile along vertical is 150 meter. So yung natural ground natin is ito and ito yung zero nating reference point. So therefore, how far is the initial position of the ball coming with respect to our ground? So syempre, 150 meter. And then yung y, which is yung final position ng ating bola along y is from B. So therefore, when it reaches the ground, yung kanyang height or yung position ng ating bola is 0 meter. Next is yung initial velocity ng ating y. So, ito yung given natin. Therefore, yung y component, itong velocity is 150 multiplied by 3 over 5. So kung hindi nyo pa alam kung paano nahanap to, nasa description box yung video tutorial ko kung bakit naging ganito yung sagot or yung vertical component nitong velocity. Next is yung acceleration. So is subjected to gravity therefore negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Negative kasi yung gravity natin is going downward or hinahatak lahat ng object pababa kaya negative and then uh, next let's consider horizontal so para hindi tayo malito kung ano dito yan din dito so y o dito therefore x o naman or yung initial position ng x so initial position ng x natin so dito tayo magbibase sa range natin so, ga, ano yung initial position ng ating bola along x? It is 0. Then, yung final position ng ating bola, ito. And it is equivalent to range. And hindi natin alam yung value ng range. Therefore, question mark. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Next is, uh, VOX, yung initial velocity ng ating bola along horizontal. So, yung x component nito magiging 150 multiplied by 4 over 5. And then, yung acceleration natin, since it is moving horizontal, we were talking dito yung motion ng bola horizontally. Therefore, there is no gravity on horizontal and let's assume na walang air friction na nagaganap. Like, walang hangin na sumasalubong sa bola. Therefore, yung acceleration nito is 0 meter per second squared. So, ito na lang ating mga given and we will proceed sa ating solution. So, yung solution natin is dalawa rin. Isa sa vertical at isa sa horizontal. Okay? So, kailangan maisulat natin yung given separated ng magkaba. So, kailangan hindi sila magkalo-halo. Kasi baka yung pag-solve natin malilito tayo at makakamap tayo ng maling sagot. So, kailangan organize siya. Solution natin, considering vertical, so, lalagyan na lang natin ng line para hindi kayo malito. Solution natin. So, pwede natin dito magamit yung kinematic equation. We have y plus yo plus 1 half at squared plus vot. Dito naman, ganun rin. x equals x sub o plus 1 half AT squared plus BOT. Okay? So, yung pinag-able nila is yung variable. Pero pareho lang itong dalawa na position yung nare-represent. Okay? So, substitute na natin yung mag-given. So, final position, 0. 
yo natin 150 plus 1 half acceleration natin negative 9.8 t squared plus initial velocity na 150 times 3 divided by 5 half 90 multiply sa t then continue solving 0 plus 150 minus 4.9 t squared plus 90t so pwede natin ito lahat ilipat sa kabila para magiba yung sign 4.9t squared minus 90t minus 150 equals 0 take note of this so dito as you can see uh, medyo hawig siya sa ating quadratic equation why not to use quadratic formula so negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a wherein itong 4.9 ito yung a yung negative 90 yan yung b and itong negative 150 yan yung c so isasubstitute lang natin yan dito sa ating uh, formula so negative b substitute natin so since negative 90 ito ilalagay natin dito sa negative b magiging 90 na lang siya plus minus square root of b square natin minus 4 times a times c over 2 times 4.9 so this is equals to t kasi yung variable natin sa ating equation is t so pwede nyo ito i-type agad sa inyong calculator and makukuha natin na yung t is equals to 1.5379 seconds t sub 2 was 19.9052 seconds so kung makikita nyo isang root ng ating t is negative at isa yung positive so maging practical tayo walang time na negative diba? so magta-travel yung bola and when it reaches b walang time na equivalent sa negative so diba yung time natin is gumagalaw so hindi pa atras yung galaw ng ating oras therefore itong answer na t1 is not the correct answer for time but here in t2 we have positive answer positive value of t sub 2 which is good kasi yung time natin is always positive and not negative so tandaan natin guys na walang time na negative okay so so ito yung value ng time natin so tatandaan natin itong time kasi pwede natin yung magamit dito sa horizontal so hindi pa to yung tamang sagot natin kasi t sub 2 pa lang to yung hinahanap talaga natin is yung r or yung final position so proceed tayo solution ng x horizontal so yung final position natin equals r initial position na 0 plus 1 half acceleration na 0 t squared natin so t lang muna plus initial position we have 120 multiplied by t so yung matitira itong, itong term magiging 0 ito is 0 so r equals 120t so meron tayong value ng t ok so sulat natin yan dito i-substitute natin second ito and this is meter per second kasi velocity sya diba so multiply natin yung s dito sa meter per second naka cancel yung s and then yung r natin yung range is equals to 2 3 8.63 meter okay pero yung answer natin is 2.39 meter so multiply natin to by dito sa baba is 1 meter and how many meters sa 1 kilometer so we have 0 0.001 kilometer so cancel yung 1 meter Okay, and multiply natin to yung range natin is 2.38860 km. So, or, or rounding off natin, makukuha natin yung sagot na 2.39 km. Okay, so ito na yung answer natin. So, balik tayo sa figure. Okay, so what if ginamit natin yung negative na time? Multiply natin sa so 120 so makakuha tayo ng range na negative din 
So, hindi yun mangyayari kasi yung range natin is approaching sa positive. So, yung range natin is hindi namumove backward na negative yung sagot. So, dito we conclude talaga na mali yung time natin na negative. So, ito. So, kano lamang solve guys ng projectile motion na problem. And hopefully namin natutunan kayo. Thank you guys for watching and God bless.